Founder of the J.C. Penney Stores in 1902 was an American businessman and entrepreneur called James Cash Penny Jr. Born on 16 September 1875 in Missouri in the United States of America. Died on 12 February 1971 in New York in the United States of America. Said growth is never by mere chance. It is a result of forces working together. Throughout the centuries, this has been repeated in a different simple style. And still I can't understand why families broke, why family, families were remote controlled and destroyed. They kept on telling 100 times, said a lie becomes the truth, the Hitler said, and he destroyed Germany and dragged the country to Second World War. And what is the difference between Hitler and here? What was that? Hitler said 100 times, said a lie. But what was this? Was not a lie, this was a truth. What did they say? The family which sits together, eats together. Prays together, grows together. It is a joint effort. And when that was there, which company, which family can crash? Which student can crash? When those days there was a gurukula where one student and one master. Now the classes are 40, 50, 60 in one classroom. If they all join together, one in Singaporean came and told me, Look, Mr. Rakum, if you Indians all join together and spit at a time, Singapore will drop. <laughs> if they all join together of one class, what could have been the power? James Cashpenny said, growth is never by mere chance. It is growth is not an accident. Yes. Growth happens like how Ramakrishna Paramahamsa told Swami Vivekananda, you did you see the seed inside the seed? If I say there is a growth, there is a big tree, there is a richness, that you are going to become the richest man of the world, will you believe? You must put work hard. Together, versus working together, the seed should work, it should be put in a proper fertile soil and working together with the soil and the worms and the copra called the manure and the wind and the rain and the sunlight, all forces working together, it grows to become one of the most beautiful tall standing trees. Standing tall, the roots penetrating deep down. That is your richness. That is your diamond. I can see. And the diamond is in every one of you. I can see. But only if you work together and sweat together. The family which sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together. James Cashbury growth is never by mere chance. Don't tell me. Family cannot work together. It is impossible. How could we work together? Many people come and challenge me when I talk about you are talking rubbish. Rakum Guruji. Swami Rakum Ji, you are talking rubbish. Baba Ji, Kuba Ji, they call me everything by name. I'm talking rubbish because I said family sit, sit together. How come even husband and wife sit together? You are rubbish talking. Can you believe? Then why did you marry together? Husband is working daytime, wife is working nighttime. They don't see each other. Isn't? Because who said Sudha Mukti? Because I don't meet my husband. I meet him once in a month. That's why we never broke it. Because of that, everybody is believing that one. And that is the truth. If that is the truth, then why should you take a life? If you are together, there is strength. Yes.
Growth is never by mere chance. You can sit together. A family can sit. It is the result of forces working together. You go to any factory, any company, but when you come back, work the same amount of time together, sitting together, bum to bum, eat from the same plate, take bath together, chit chat together, walk together, yes, play together, laugh together, and you can see the first time. You can see the diamond in each one of them is a diamond. And in your laughter and your sweat and your listening and your just watching, look at, looking at each other into the eyes. First time you found that your children's eyes, your wife and your husband's eyes is a diamond. And from there springs the joint family because you are not frightened at all because you have seen the diamond, you have seen the truth, you have seen the God, you are the God who is frightened. When you don't look into the eyes, when you don't see the diamond, then you have to go to the all the temples and masjid and churches. Jiddu Krishnamurti said, when you lose the deep intimate relationship with your nature, yes, then fear follows you, bad stabbing follows you, you start throwing judgment, you become a Supreme Court judge very fast, you throw judgment much before anybody else in the whole world. But you forget to participate. James Cash Penny said, growth is never by mute. It is the result of forces working together, working together, work together. Not in the gymnasium when you work with the machines, lift the machines, come to the field, lift the woodcutter. Yes, cut the wood. Saute, yes, firewood. Cook it with firewood. Climb the tree. Dig the Earth, yes, stop your washing machines and use a hand to wash. You can see a new power and in the power is your diamond. In the diamond is your truth and your God. Otherwise you can change my name. Throw your mixes out. Take the chili powder with the stone, the old stone. Rum, boom, 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 boom. You have the power. Boom, boom, boom. It's atomic power, atomic bomb, nuclear bomb inside you. It can blast all the diseases and create health. And you can see in that health all the diamond. James Cash Penny he said, growth is never by mere chance. It is the result of forces working to the work together. Always work together. Yes. Hold your hands together. They say like the five fingers are two, five different things. Make a fist yourself in power together. Yes. Not separate bedrooms for your daughter, for your son, for your wife, for your grandfather. No. All together in one hall, fully together. You can see the power. If it's not every day, at least once a month at least. Walk together, their hands folded. Yes. Socrates said, and they couldn't believe what Socrates said. Socrates said, sit together, sleep in the same community hall, eat in the same dining hall. If you wish to to become truth, you have to eat in the same, all the leaders eat in the dining hall. Then underhand deals will stop. You cannot have a separate office. Publicly, you meet with people. Sleep together, take bath together, eat together. And Socrates is poisoned to death. They asked him to take poison and die. And his disciples said, no, we will save you. Socrates said, what's the use of saving me? Take me to another country, but there also I'll speak the same thing. And he took poison and he said, yes, my toes stopped working. My hands stopped working, my jaw stopped working, moving, and he died. He saw that. He said, When I was born, I couldn't see death. So, when I'm dying, the leaders asked me, the political leaders asked me to take poison. Yes. And Socrates went, Yes. Work together. Listen to what Socrates said Wisdom is power. <laughs>